Come on in, but keep it down. Okay. I found it. This is the only thing that'll lull him to sleep. Since Naja and Nando departed, it's been just me and the lad. I don't want to call him Colin Robinson, even though he did crawl out of the chest cavity of the deceased Colin Robinson. He really is his own little man, and I'd like to keep it that way. So, I just call him Boy. Go on, bugger off. To quote the brothers themselves from episode 113. Your relationship aside, could you tell me a little bit about Colin? Oh, yes. Yes, they can. <laughs> yes. They can. Yeah. Um, Colin, you say? Uh, yes. Uh, Give us a minute. Okay. Colin. Uh, ooh. Eee. Colin. Oh, that hurt. You know, what are you doing? This is seriously the funnest level I've ever done on Roblox. Is it as cool as this? Yeah, full as look. Me in dreamland, sweet dreamy dreamland there. Let my dreams come true. Right, well, that's enough, you freeloading deadbeats. If you want to watch, then you've got to pay. Come on. Candle on his head for when he sneaks down to the basement and swims in all the sewage. It's very dark down there. What? You let him swim in the sewage? It helps him shake off the sillies. <laughs> now, I have a little boy who needs feeding. There you are. You like these, don't you? Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> no. Now sit. Stay, boy, and how about it? <laughs> is it boring like Colin Robinson? Well, now that is an excellent question. Thank you. One that I have been vigorously applying my scientific method to for the past two months. My work began with experiments in isolation. I dabbled in phrenology. Disappointed, shocked, happy, puzzled, fortifying good judgment, Important literature or colourful shit? Um. Make your choice. No! <laughs> and of course, electroshock <laughs> therapy. Again. What do you mean that baby Colin is not performing? He goes on every night at 3 a.m. I know, my darling, but things have changed. The nightclub is extraordinarily successful, and we both know why. So his contract must reflect that. He doesn't have a contract. Au contraire. I drew one up this morning. Uh. I subjected him to all manner of boring imagery. He found it just as tedious as I did. I am delighted to report that he is not and will not grow into the boring energy vampire from whence he came. Rubbish. What's Fuck me. What's happening to me? I'm repulsive. Good grief, whatever is that foul odor? It's me. And Laszlo, guess what? What? I hate you, you're ruining my life. Come on, boy, don't be like that. I can sort this out. Yeah, I'll get you on stage tonight. No, I'm not singing any more of those baby songs. And guess what? What? From here on out, I'll only consider performing if it's the music of Papa Roach or Evanescence. Fuck off! Shut your mouth. So those bastards from the gas company. Yes, there's a gas leak. Yes, I need to do something about it. Railroad employee and part-time graphic designer Laszlo. I wish I could get this printer to work. Hates living in this dated house that lacks adequate storage space for him and his nephew, Colin. <laughs> Bang! What have I told you about touching my hat? Uh, Kill them! Kill them dead! Don't you think we may be pushing him a little too hard? No, this is essential for his college application. Plus, he's having a great time. Does he sleep? I don't think he does. Never a dull moment with that scallywag. I'm pretty sure he must be part demon. <laughs> Nonsense. He's all boy. What I'm trying to say is, I think Gizmo was right. I think you're going to be incredibly boring. The type of chap who goes to see a revival of Auntie Mame and writes about it in his diary, but I don't hold that against you. You're a better man than I am. It's no big deal. But it kind of is a big deal, Sean, because he stole your car. I was going to bring it back. I beg your pardon. I said I was going to bring it back. Listen, he was just taking it for a little joyride. Colin, maybe you could help us understand what you were thinking? I don't know. Your behavior, it's nothing like the Colin we know. The Colin you know? You don't know me at all. I mean, you can't tell me who my parents are or where I came from or why I have these thoughts in my head about hammering holes in the wall. We don't know ourselves. Uh, you can't tell me why I grew a foot and a half overnight like a human radish. Uh, I forgot the words, Michael. 
<laughs> what is this tomfoolery? This is a rehearsal for you, not for me. It would appear the boy has no interest in larceny, vandalism, and obviously he's too young for whoring. So to keep this excursion from being a total waste of time, I threw him in this dumpster and told him he wasn't allowed out until he'd killed six rats. Hey, Lazo, guess what? What? Some dumb idiot threw out all these playbills. This one's from Miss Saigon. Did you know they used a real helicopter on stage? But I don't think it could fly. I think they made it look that way with ropes. Shut up. Or what have you. Unbelievable. You were raised to be charming, not sincere. Really? Well, that's nicely put. You're full of surprises. That's from Into the Woods by Stephen Sondheim. Right. I was thinking about it because I want to turn my Ewok Village Lego set into the Giants tree. Do you really? Now, why don't we fuck that off and go and see Richie Suck? Okay. Baby Colin! Boy! Baby! Hey, guys. What have I told you about running off, you little prick? I heard... And now, finally, the boy's too tired to be such a little shit. Listen, you ungrateful fuck, you're giving me the pit. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're doing our best here. Oh, well, that makes me feel so whoa, much whoa, better. Whoa, whoa. Guys, All right, guys, you guys, cheeky fuck. Things are getting a little too heated in here. Yeah, because he fucking started it. He started it. it. Okay. It's all right, boy. They don't know what they're missing. Come on, let's get on with the job in hand. Says the guy who left the house to find himself and come back with his tail between his legs. It was an important step in my personal journey. And a good thing I did come back, since the house went to piss-filled shit on your watch. You remember to watch your language in front of my boy. Piss-filled shit house! Did you get that? Yep. I shouldn't be surprised. Move my hand. <laughs> you are a naughty bloody boy! You were supposed to come with me to London, but you just packed me up and shipped me off. My darling, I had to look after the boy. I wrote you. Yes, yes, about the creature that crawled out of the cavity of dead Colin Robinson's chest. I understand, I guess. Yeah, well, at least he's not showing signs of being a bore or an energy vampire. He has a very curious and inquisitive mind. Oh, no! Gizmo, shut the fuck up! We're doing a piece to camera. As I was saying, he has a very inquisitive and curious mind. Really had quite the growth for it, hasn't he? Ah! Ain't that the truth, Alice? You see, he's on the cusp of that awkward <laughs> age. Ah! I'm on base. I'm on base. <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> Dylan said that the staircase was base, and I was touchy base, but he hit me anyway. <laughs> it's all right. Dylan, it's fair. I wish you were dead, Dylan. No, no, come yes, on. I do. He runs down to the bloody flooded basement and wreaks havoc. Reason at all. No, I think there's method in his madness. What we're seeing are the early tentative explorations of maybe a sculptor or an architect. Or a psychopath. Maybe a sculptor. There we go. I know you've had a disappointing day, so no rehearsal tonight. Would you like me to read one of your fairy stories to you? No, that's okay. I don't think I want to read those anymore. Maybe, can you read me something from one of your real books about real stuff? Well, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> one of my personal favorites. Oh, yes. The village of Holcomb stands on the high wheat plains of western Kansas. He's been growing at a remarkable rate, and he's a wild little creature, full of mischief and surprises. Shit. <laughs> Boy. And not a bit the boring energy draining Colin Robinson from whence he can. Call me Colin, an hour of sing songs and laugh em ups for the whole fam family. But Lazo, guess what? You're I'm tired. tired. I I'm at a really good part of my book not and the I. the fucking book again. Give it to me. I, I don't have it. Yes, you do, boy. <sighs> You've tucked it around the back of your trouser. Give it to me. Fine. Fairy tales. This is bullshit and highly inaccurate. Little Red Riding Hood. You know, that's a tale about a gruesome, unsold child abduction. That's not true. I don't believe you. Really? You're an expert, are you? What about this one? Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpel Dickskin, more like. You know that's how he got his name, this chap? Doesn't say that in the book. What's Dickskin? What is Dickskin? That's a bloody good question. And not one that you should be asking. Let's get on with the last song. He's a good little helper. Boy, I'm gonna need one nail. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Helping me maintain this house. One. Which I'm sure you've noticed has seen better days. He's given me a sense of purpose and under my tutelage with exposure to woodcraft, scintillating conversation, Good work, boy. high culture, On guard. and of course, swordsmanship. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you're getting better. I think I can mold this blank canvas of a boy 
into the most interesting adult there has ever been. You know, you're lucky to have a guy like Laz taking care of you. I guess. Sometimes I think that Lazo doesn't like me so much. Are you kidding me? He loves you. He's always saying I'm not going to have you grow up to be a bald-headed, energy-sucking bore. Why aren't you doing your scales, boy? Hey, time to hit the road. Shit. This little star's ready to shake his moneymaker. Something wrong? Do you feel there's something wrong? No. How far is it to the venue? To the what? Venue! Uh, um, not far. The fuck? Oh, no. Gizmo! There you are. What the fuck have you got that boy doing? What? I didn't do anything. He does that all on his own. I told you I wanted him to grow up to be an interesting son of a bitch. Practicing fine art and cult, yeah. So how come he's still doing this boring shit? And to him, this isn't boring. He's just like any other kid who likes Legos and Roblox and Nerf guns and music, all that stuff. Oh, and oomph. What? And oomph. What were you going to say? Okay. He really loves musical theater. Oh, no. What have the dark... Lord Roth. Upon then fourth the year of, of the Nine like Years' that. War, that the battles of Balfour and La Hogue tested the will of His Majesty's fleet. Can we please read one of my books? Absolutely not. Please? Real books about real people concerning real things that happened. Oh, Laszlo, just read them some of that baby bullshit he likes so much. Yeah, maybe the one about the elves and the shoemaker. All right, I'll tell you the real story. Some third-rate cobbler, ripped to the tits on formaldehyde fumes used in his leather tanning process, imagines he's seeing little elves do all his work. Loses his business, kills himself. The end. <gasps> I was worried the kid was a dog. Turns out he's got the groove. <laughs> Hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey, Guess what? Oh, Come look at this. Great to see you. Whoa. Big time studio here. Yeah, I got two subscribers. Got two subscribers? Someone's a star. I'm exposing my boy to danger, namely art theft. An old boy of mine's going to be a pasty-faced musical theater nut with a Sondheim lyric for every occasion. Lasso, guess what? What? Do you know what Nolene is? It's a... An energy vampire. Yeah. And, and so there's... Nothing I can do to, to change it? No. I'm afraid not, my boy. You see, it's genetics. It's beyond our control. If I'd have been told when I was your age that I'd be burdened with rugged good looks, a rapier wit, and a thick cock, I too would have protested. But, uh, them's the bricks. Okay, but, Lazo, guess what? You don't have to keep saying guess what to preface every remark that you make. Just say whatever the fuck it is that you want to say. Uh, I'm sorry. No, look, I'm... I'm sorry, what is it that you wanted to say? That's that broke, so I shoved all the pieces under the bed. Okay, fair enough. Now, can we continue with the crime? Yeah, sure. Do you think that what Marian the was What the fuck are you doing? I just said... Kind of Shut up. Hey, Cornbread, what you playing back there? Oh, uh, no. Why the oh, fuck it's did a game called Welcome to Blocksburg, and it's a game on Roblox, and you can build your own house or get a job like a... Uh, you little rascal. <laughs> you hurt my stomach, you dummy. Guy. Uh, Baby, cut it. Nice try, asshole. My bag. Little nephew found his way over to my house again. I caught him in the garage knocking uh, holes in the drywall with a ball-peen hammer. A thousand apologies to you, Shaw. What's this? Baby Colin is miserable, and it's a mystery to me. Seems like only yesterday when he danced and sang and was full of joys and smiles. Now he barely talks to me, and when he does, it's very unpleasant. Shit. Have you got enough toys on the floor? I say, can you take the headphones off? My headphones are on. Yeah, I know. Can you take them off just for one second? Hold on. What? I was thinking, why don't we hop the fence at the zoo and see if those baby rhinos have grown since the last yeah, time we... I'm kind of busy right now. Looked at them. Thank you. Uh, Laszlo, what do you want to do with this race car bed? you want to keep it, or can we get rid of it? Well, that's your bed. Well, it was. I, I, I've never seen this bed in my life. All right, well, shake can the bed. Now, I'm quite Colin, a Colin. Yeah. So, you really don't remember anything from the last year? Uh, no. Not really. I, I remember it was my 100th birthday party, and I had a bit of a tummy trouble, and... Right. The next thing I remember is I'm reading my diaries and, yeah, everything in between is a blank. Do you remember me bringing you up from a small baby? No. No, not at all. Do you remember um, 
me playing the piano and you singing and dancing. And then sometimes we'd jump over the fence at the zoo in the middle of the night to look at the baby rhinos. Yeah, no, doesn't ring a single bell. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Do you, do you smell toast or anything? Or? I'm, I'm good. All right. get to be a beauty when did he grow to be so tall wasn't it yesterday when they 